so in this video we are going to create an open network as we saw in the last videos that when we captured the packets and we tried to read them there was an there was an encryption on them and we could not get useful information so what we are going to do is we are going to create our own open network so anyone can connect can connect with it without using a password actually so uh, uh, it is very intimidating uh, uh, when we see an open network and we want to use internet so a lot of people actually try to connect to it uh, and they want to use the internet so we are going to use that human weakness and we are going to create an open network so uh, what will happen uh, when we when someone is going to connect with it so there will be no encryption on it there will be uh, no wpa or wep or any kind of encryption on it so all the data packets will contain uh, the plain text and we can just sniff them and we, we will be reading them so how we are going to set up all uh, all this uh, so for for that we need two cards actually so uh, for example you have a laptop and you have two cards on it uh, one card will be the one which is connected to the internet actually and the other card will be it will be a wi-fi card and it will uh, be a card which is uh, actually broadcasting the signals the wi-fi signals and it is acting as a router so uh, the device you use to uh, for the monitor mode and for the for the deauthenticate or deauthentication attacks uh, you you can use that similar card to to broadcast the signals and i am going to tell you how you can set set this up set set that up so <coughs> Uh, what what is going to happen when we uh, set up it so every packet will be sent to the wi-fi card actually so for example this wi-fi card is broadcasting signals uh, with a name for example you are sitting at starbucks or any coffee uh, coffee shop and you create an open network with their name so people sitting there uh, uh, will think that uh, this is something the coffee shop is offering and they will be connecting to the internet so once uh, this client connects to this wi-fi network and this wi-fi uh, wi-fi card will be connected to hacker device uh, our, our own device actually so uh, in in our device we are going to set it up like that that once this uh, this client asks for google.com for example they want to open google.com so the data packets will be sent to this wi-fi card because this is acting as a router so and and after that this wi-fi card is sending uh, will be sending those packets to the to the hacker machine to the uh, to the to the device it is actually connected to and after that uh, that data packet will be sent to the internet using the other card which is actually connected to internet so and after that uh, the request will be processed here and it will send back to the hacker machine where we can sniff those packets and then we can send it back to uh, to the router to the wi-fi card and then it will send it back to to the client so let's see it again we have two cards connected on this machine one is connected to internet and the other is the wi-fi card which is broadcasting the signals which is not actually connected to internet a person who sees an open network and he tries to connect he connects with it uh, without putting a password once he asks for something once he for example asks to open google.com or facebook.com the data packets containing that that information will be sent to this card and then this card is going to send it to the hacker machine where we will sniff the sniff those packets and we can read them in wireshark just like we did before and then his uh, his uh, request will be sent to the internet using the other card which is actually connected to internet and then it will send it back and we can send it back to client so he does not know that uh, he, uh, his data packets are actually sniffed in between and someone is reading the information but we are going to see each and everything he is asking for internet to do he is trying to do on internet and we are going to see each and everything so in the next video i'm going to uh, tell you how we can set set this up and how we can do all this and configure this so we can see all the data packets and the information in it too.